On today's program, this GBAC TV industry alert, I am pleased to welcome Dr. Gavin McGregor Skinner, the Senior Director of GBAC, the Division of ISSA. Gavin, you look healthy. How are you today? Oh, Jeff, couldn't be better. It's spring and we're doing great. Yes. Now, Gavin, I wonder if you're so healthy because you know how to use cleaning products appropriately. Well, Jeff, what if I told you that I knew that 90% of the cleaning workers that we trained through our Cleaning for Health workshops last year could not recall one cleaning ingredient that was in the cleaning product they used. I would say that's not too surprising, but here's the thing, Gavin. I think our cleaning professionals, they do their work, they know what they're doing. They might not think about those products, they trust the manufacturer, or they know the products work and they want simple. Tell us, I know you have an article coming up in a publication for ISSA produces about this topic. Why is this important? Because I think, Jeff, in the industry, the cleaning industry, when we learn something, when we have real data, real information, we just can't ignore it. We've got to act on it. And, you know, Doug Hoffman, Dave Mora, Jim Manis, and myself, we ran 54 in-person cleaning for health workshops in 2023. We trained you know, 893 essential cleaning professionals and 90% or 804 workers could tell us the cleaning product they use. That's where the simple, that's, that's really important. But they could not tell us, Jeff, the ingredients, the chemicals in those products. And that's a real big health and safety issue, but also an efficacy in, in issue what products and due to their ingredients work on what surfaces i agree with that i'm looking at your article now that people will be soon reading you talk about surfactants, solvents builders uh, enzymes biological additives sounds like a science class to me so tell us what the cleaner should know about the products they're using and where to get that information that's a great question jeff because you know the use of cleaning products, not just by the industry, the cleaning professionals, but by everyone. It's ubiquitous. It's everywhere. Um, cleaning products work because they contain certain chemical ingredients. And the challenge we have is that we need to formalize our training, our programs, our education programs to at least ensure, and this is where we, we, we really want, uh, cleaning professionals to really understand why that we're calling them professionals is because they know how the products work. They know what the ingredients do. And it's not just by looking at the label, the safety data sheet. It's by understanding that little bit. You're right. It's a little bit of chemistry, Jeff, but understanding how a solvent works, a surfactant, a builder, an enzyme, a chelant, or a preservative. Why are they in the products that we use? Why they're important and how to use them safely and again clean for health so thinking about that what actions do you want our viewers to take moving forward what should they do wrap it up for us well really important jeff we went through in our clean for health workshops the 54 that we ran we talked to people about the labels we talked about the safety data sheets we said if i said to you jeff on you know this chemical is considered hazardous what do you do this product causes burns to eye, skin, and mucous membranes. Um, this product has to be used, and you need to ensure adequate ventilation. Or you need to use personal protective equipment, and it always says as required. Or maybe, for example, it's very toxic to aquatic life with long-lasting effects. All that needs to be understood. What are the actions we take when we know a little bit more knowledge than what we've got now on the cleaning ingredients we have in cleaning products, and then more importantly, Jeff, that critical next step, how to make informed choices. And that's where the ISSA has partnered with Penn State College of Medicine, with Dr. Rebecca Bascom, uh, with the City of New York School of Medicine, um, Dr. Omrana Pashat Razak, on a two-year project on making safer choices, where we're going to develop a practical toolkit to ensure that we can increase the knowledge, the demand, and use of cleaning products, and so that people understand how the ingredients work, how to use them safely, how to use them effectively, but also how to talk about 
the ingredients we use in clean products as professionals.